Well, what a special game we have for you tonight in the group stage. Both teams with real ambitions to go far in this competition. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one, my goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Real Madrid against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. And the starting players for Real Madrid, Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Cabajal plays with Marcelo as fullbacks. Toni Kroos plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And the assistant referee has raised his flag, offside. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. What do you anticipate seeing from him here, Lee? Well, his ability on the ball is second to none. Just watch how close he keeps the ball to his feet. He lures defenders in. Then a quick turn of pace and he's away from you. Brilliant player. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. How about the cross? Fine cross into the middle. The keeper was up to the task. Well, it's a decent effort, but it's a real opportunity goes begging there. Hakimi. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Danilo Pereira. Sarabia. Here's Mbappe. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Verratti. Well, possibilities inside the box Messi and the keeper able to hold on to it Benzema Nacho Fernandez. Now Casemiro. Karim Benzema. Moving into the advanced position. Firing it in. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Hakimi. Danilo Pereira. Verratti. Diallo 
It's Jim Pembe now. Mbappe. Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there. Mbappe. Now Messi. That always looked likely to run through to the keeper. Karim Benzema. Modric. This is Kroos. Marcelo. Azar. Benzema. Now Casemiro. Karim Benzema. What can Real do from this position? Azar prepared to fire. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Casemiro. Real Madrid have given it away. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Hakimi. And space to attack. The inside route looking promising. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Shielding the ball superbly. And green space galore for PSG. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. A PSG corner it is, and potentially an opportunity. Give us your critique, Lee, on Karim Benzema. Will he be a bit disappointed with himself? Over it comes. Not getting a strong fist on the ball. And they need to get tighter here. Now he must favour the cross. An attack full of promise. And here's Sarabia. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. In position here to protect the ball. Danilo Pereira. Oh, good vision. Oh, that's a fine save. Corner kick forthcoming. Well, they fancy a short one. Messi and putting his body on the line and we're inside the final 30 minutes the attack continues they're making considerable he'll try his luck here straightforward piece of goalkeeping following that long shot lead yeah concentration when the ball's in the air for that long just get behind it get your hands up well Derek you can sense the frustration growing from the fans that leads on to the players being frustrated too. You can sense it. Can they get the goal? Bale. Tony Kroos. Azar. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Foiling them effectively. Neymar running with the ball confidently going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss racing forward trying to catch them out 
Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Danilo Pereira. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Inside the last, we wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the opposition? Well, he put some superb balls in from the wide areas, and that one's probably the best. And what do they get? Reward, a goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, in the second half, trailing, albeit by a small margin, how should they be viewing this task, Lee? Well, the game is very, very close, isn't it? And Madrid will feel as if there's another goal out there, force the opposition backwards, more balls in the box, put the pressure on, force the issue. How can they find a late leveller? Modric. Breaking at pace. Well, let's see if something comes of this. He needed to get there and did, but still the possibility. Modric. Lovely ball over the top. Has eyes for goal! From so far away, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close though. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. Long range effort, and it wasn't too far off, was it? Well, the coach is kicking every ball down there in the technical area. I'm sure he thinks he could do better. We are going to have two additional minutes. Good visualization and execution. Neymar. He's in behind. Great block. Well, now it is final, and Real Madrid will be wondering where it went awry tonight. A terrible start to their Champions League campaign. It's not a disaster, it's only game one. You can't afford any more slip ups. That result will eat away at the players until game two comes along. Uh, it's always an enjoyable experience watching Neymar. Lee Dixon, your verdict on his performance? He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.